Hey everyone, and in today's video, we're gonna be talking about the push for monthly stimulus packages by Democratic lawmakers that are getting increasingly, increasingly louder and more frequent, as well as the $10,200 tax deduction from unemployment from the year 2020 and how it involves your taxes. Hey everyone, my name is Randy. Welcome back to the Late Night Grind, covering these crazy stimulus package updates right now. So if you're new to the channel and you wanna follow along with all these developments, all these developing stories and stimulus packages, go ahead, click the subscribe button and don't forget to tap the bell notification icon. And honestly, best thing you can do is actually hitting that thumbs up button. It really helps out a channel like this with the YouTube algorithm. And I just wanna say a big shout out to all my new recent subscribers recently that have joined the Late Late Night Grind community. Don't forget to go back and watch some of my previous videos. I will link them up above here and you can kind of see the development of this fourth stimulus package and what it involves. Also, if you're interested in some cryptocurrency news, I have some videos recently posted and I'll link to those as well. All right, guys, well, let's get into it. So the Democratic, so Democratic lawmakers are now calling for $2,000 per month, or at least most of them are. Some of them are saying maybe $1,000 per month, uh, but regardless, monthly stimulus checks during the pandemic or during the effects of the pandemic. And they're calling for this to be added into this fourth stimulus check package. Now, the number that I just read is that it, it is up to 75 Democratic lawmakers, most of which are in the House of Representatives, but there is a huge chunk, I believe, over 20 Democratic senators that have actually signed on and are pushing for monthly stimulus checks or at least a some or at least another fourth stimulus check uh, for Joe Biden to include this into his infrastructure plan. As of right now, Joe Biden has not explicitly said he's going to include that in his plans. He laid out some of what the infrastructure plan is gonna include last week. We have more information coming out in the next week or two as he unveils uh, basically part two uh, of this fourth stimulus plan. And if you watched my video from a couple of days ago, we heard that Nancy Pelosi said, we wanna get this all done by August because we're going on vacation and I'm sure nobody else wants to hear about that. They just wanna know about the stimulus checks. And not only that, Kamala Harris, who's vice president right now, last year she was a big proponent of monthly stimulus checks. She was actually calling for $2,000 a month stimulus checks last year when they were discussing uh, kind of the first round of stimulus checks and, and stimulus packages. So they have that going for them. Now, of course, it does not look like so far there are any Republicans on board with the spending bill, at least until the price comes way, way down. So we're gonna actually see what's coming of that in the next couple of weeks as they start really uh, working with budget committees and figuring out this fourth stimulus check plan. But in the meantime, make sure you're subscribed and follow along as I release these updates as soon as I see some new developments. All right, so the next part of this is, if you were unemployed last year in 2020, and you were paid uh, $10,200 or up to $10,200 in unemployment pay last year, you could actually be receiving one to $2,000 of that money back in the form of a tax deduction. So it's essentially a default stimulus check. So what they're gonna be doing is when you do your 2020 taxes and you put on that that you've received uh, up to uh, that $10,200 or more or less, uh, basically the first $10,000 $200 is going to be tax free for you. Now what they're doing is basically making that an auto refund, meaning they're just going to go ahead and give that tax money right back to you in the form of a tax credit. And as of right now, basically what the IRS is saying is that, well, they're really busy doing a whole bunch of other stuff. So what they're going to do is do this in two waves. The first wave is going to be uh, single individual taxpayers. They're going to be processing those first. The next wave will be couples uh, filing jointly. They're going to be processing those second. So when we're looking for our tax returns, so when you're looking for your tax refund on that 2020 uh, tax return, there could be some delays and the IRS went ahead and said, if you do experience a delay past 45 days, uh, they're actually gonna add some interest onto that. So you'll get a little bit more, probably not gonna be a big amount. I wouldn't count, I wouldn't count on that being a big amount, but that's what they said. So nonetheless, if you were unemployed in 2020, up to $10,000, up to $10,200 tax-free, you're gonna get that back in the form of tax credit. It's basically an extra thousand to potentially $1,500 or more of a stimulus check coming back to you. So all the more reason to get your 2020 taxes in as soon as you can. Let me know in the comments down below if you've already submitted your 2020 tax returns yet. And if you checked on the IRS website, what the status of that is, because you can go on and, and put your information in and they'll actually tell you what the status of your, of your tax return looks like. So I'd love to know if you've done that already or if you're in the process of doing it, comment down below. That's it, so I appreciate you watching this video. Don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and I'll see you guys on the next video.